Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Wes Davies. Welcome back to another very special video. I've just been having really nice luck lately, meeting some very interesting people from all over the world. And today is no exception. I'm down here in Pier 2, and these are my new friends. This is Luke and Anna. Hello. Hello, hello. Where are you from, Luke? I'm from Tasmania in Australia. Nice, and Anna? I'm Anna, and I'm coming from the Netherlands. Wow. They have a very, very interesting story. First of all, let's say, why are you in Kaohsiung? Yeah, well, we're here to do an art project. So we're an artist duo. We're working together on art projects in many different countries. And we just arrived eight days ago to do an art project. Only eight days? Eight days. So yeah, it's, it's very new and fresh. And we're here to do the project News From Hope. Uh, so we're documenting Kaohsiung and we're really interested in the stories and the community. And there's a lot to explore. So we're spending three months exploring around the city, so definitely around this area where we are today, here too. But um, we're trying to see as much of the city as possible, but we're realizing it's a really, really big and diverse city. So as traveling artists, surely that Kaohsiung is not the first city that you've been to. Where else have you been living? The story of us working together, we actually first met in Japan ah. about eight years ago. And then since then, we've worked and lived in maybe 10 or 11 different countries. Uh, we travel as much as possible uh, to do an art project. And this is actually the 11th edition of this project. Uh, we have been to many European countries, but it's the first time that we're doing this project in Asia. So we're, we're looking for everyday stories, basically. So often when you go to a city, you're looking for the icons. Go to Paris, you're looking for the Eiffel Tower. But we're interested in what people maybe forget. And it's very special and very awesome about a place that maybe seems very normal for those that live there. Yeah, we're more interested in daily life and just in and things that are maybe not super idyllic, but can also be messy. And I think you're interested in diverse realities of a place. Sounds like so far you've been primarily in Europe, as you said. I mean, why have you come to Kaohsiung of all places? Yeah, it's an interesting question. And sometimes we're in a place and we're like, yeah, how did we get here? <laughs> uh, and so basically we're always yeah. looking for opportunities to work in exciting and new locations. And it just happened that there was an open call from a cultural organization here asking artists to um, come to Kaohsiung to do a project. We had a project idea and we said we really would like to come. We had an interview and then we were selected and so this was actually three years yeah. ago it was in right 2020. before oh in 2020 really 2020 we got selected and then covid happened oh. so we couldn't come and we were for so long like anticipating on this on this journey and now finally in 2024 now we have time we have time to come yeah so we're waiting really patiently and we're sending emails maybe can we come now and they're like oh maybe a few more months and we'd wait and so finally it's happening so, so we got very very excited yes <laughs> and just eight days ago so you've just come to taiwan you had never been to taiwan before no no absolutely so, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what are your first impressions uh, it is very tropical mm. it's very warm and we love the food and everyone is really like nice and calm and yeah i think it's it's just a really nice environment to live in and yeah, we have not seen that many places yet, but we try to walk around and it's been good so far. Would you guys consider yourselves adventurous people? I mean, I'm sure you must be considering your job kind of requires you to travel around the world. Yeah, I guess we're adventurous. What, what we have to do for our job is we land in a place and we have maybe one or two or three months okay. to make an artwork and sort of find a routine and make a home um, in a new location. And then after that, we leave and pack it all up and wow. say goodbye to everyone that we've met and you don't know when you'll see them again. So I think mm. it's, that's adventurous, I think. I think, yeah, and I think we feel like easily at home somewhere and uh, comfortable in a new place. I think we're very flexible and um, yeah, we can make a place and a home in, in different places in the world, yeah. Yeah, and I think you have to be adventurous in trying new things, whether it's a food or asking someone to take their photo when you've, you can't speak the language and you, you, you have to be outside of your comfort zone for the work we do. Have you taken the LRT yet? 
Yes. We, we arrived yeah. on, on the LRT. We arrived on that and we had big bags and then everyone crowded on. And we're getting. And we thought we couldn't go off anymore. Yeah, we're getting close to the stop and we're getting more crowded and then we, we could sort of <laughs> see the door in the distance and we, we weren't sure if we'd make it off, but we did. Yeah. <laughs> and, and actually, uh, it's nice that there's an LRT stop here because not only is your studio based here in Pier 2, but you actually live in Pier 2 as well. So this is the studio, you guys actually live here. And it's been sort of provided by the Kaohsiung government as part of your art project. So not only do you work and do your art here, but you also live here. Yeah, we're sort of living in the middle of this cultural area. Mm -hmm. So we're often exploring out, but sometimes we're here. So if anyone's in the neighborhood, uh, you can just knock on the door and we will open the door for you and say, Make you a make you a cup of tea and have a salted egg, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we can show you inside. Sure. Oh wow. So it's quite a uh, small, cozy area. Mm -hmm. so down here is sort of the working space. We do a lot of digital work, and then upstairs is the living space. And so it's um, a converted warehouse, basically, where they used to keep fish and sugar, and now they're keeping the artists. If you don't mind me asking, does it have a shower and bathroom, everything? Yes, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So really, this is like a little house that you can live in. It's a self-contained uh, living situation. Yeah, totally. We could yeah. survive in here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there are other artists living in this area as well? Yeah, so we've got some uh, great neighbors. We've got some brothers from Spain. Mm. There's an artist from the Philippines, from Indonesia, and Japan as well. So often in the evenings, we're sitting outside our houses. Everyone's got the same set up and then we're having a drink or a chat and uh, so that's, that's another awesome thing about being here is actually meeting artists who have all come to the same place for different reasons. Mm -hmm. And how did you hear about Taiwan at all or this, this initiative at all? I think we only choose places to go that are exciting and are challenging and are different for us because when we're, yeah, especially during COVID, if we're sitting at home, we were so itchy to get out and travel somewhere and Taiwan ticks all those boxes. It's yeah. really interesting. And three months really is a good amount of time to get to know a place. So the Kaohsiung, we could say municipality government has actually kind of funded uh, this project where artists from all over the world can come in and have a place to work and have a place to live. And it's all kind of, I would say, part of the beautification of uh, this harbor front in Kaohsiung, which uh, a lot of people have been talking about. Kaohsiung has been doing such a good job in the last five, ten years of really making the city more livable and welcoming, especially uh, for people like you, people like artists who want to come down here and express themselves and kind of use Kaohsiung as a backdrop to their artwork. Yeah, I think a lot of the places we go are trying to do something similar to here. They're inviting artists and creatives to make something and make make a place sort of a cultural hub and I feel like here this Pier 2 area is actually further along with that. It feels yeah. like it's already happening here. There's a lot of street art, small creative businesses, markets and um, I feel like we're slotting into this much bigger community and it's that's really awesome for us to be a part of and inspiring as well. Yeah, I think it's fantastic to get an opportunity like this and uh, yeah, we're very happy to be here and get this opportunity. And the weather's quite nice, right? Oh, the weather's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it's... we're. I think it's my optimum temperature at the moment. So mm. it's February. I'm not sure. It's probably going to peak in the coming months. So hopefully, I'm slowly getting used to it. But uh, yeah. But you're here for three months, right? Yeah. February, March, April, something like that. Yeah, we're leaving at the end of April. So um, okay. Yeah, a long time to to get to know the place. Have there been any surprises so far? Because you said you've never been to Taiwan before this, right? Well, I think we've got a bit of an approach that we should try as much as possible, and so yeah. that includes food. Yeah. So if something looks good or looks interesting, we want to try. And so there was some salted Taiwanese duck eggs, and they looked interesting, <laughs> had a nice package. And so I yeah, had one open today for lunch and put it all over my salad, and I thought I'll just quickly taste the egg before I eat. <laughs> And um, yeah, it's extremely, extremely salty, <laughs> sort of like a salt cube. You might start a whole soup around for a family of 10. And that was my one um, thing in my salad. So it was quite intense and I'm 
and parched. But now we understand that that's not really uh, how you should eat it. You eat it with rice or you eat it with vegetables. I mean, unfortunately, I have been living in Taiwan for almost six years now, and I'm still not even sure how I would go about eating a salted egg. So maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments how they can eat the salted egg properly next time in the Taiwanese style. But for the rest, we had uh, many good experiences. Food yeah. wise. Yeah, what have you liked delicious. so far? Uh, I really uh, personally enjoyed uh, the soup dumplings. Mm, Shalong bao. I'm really a big fan of it. Me it's like started. this taste um, explosion, flavor explosion, which is fantastic. So how about Mandarin? Are you guys trying to pick up any Mandarin words? Uh, no, um, since eight days. Um, yeah, that's you guys are fresh off the boat. <laughs> we the say uh, shi shi. Shi shi, yeah. Shi shi. And um, we say ni hao. How about you're welcome? And, uh, Bukash, Bukachi. 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 Yeah, you got it. How about counting to ten? Yep. E. E. Er. Er. San. San. S. 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 Wu. Wu. Leo. Leo. Chi. Chi. Ba. Ba. Jo. Jo. S. S. Yeah. That's how about uh, how much is it? Ooh, oh, how much is it? Do you know? No. Dou sao chen. Dou sao chen. Dou sao chen. Dou sao chen. Dosao means how much, and Chen is money. Oh, Dosao yeah. Chen. Dosao Chen. Dosao Chen. So, in terms of your art project, uh, what I mean, can you talk about what ideas you have so far about what you'll do in the next three months? Yeah. So basically, when we started this project, we wanted to do photography. So we we're trying to take photographs of places, and we found that there was no single photograph that could summarize a place because okay. there's so many details and layers. And so what we do when we come to a place and what we're doing now is taking thousands of photos. We then take those photos and cut them out in Photoshop and we make one really big artwork from all these smaller layers. Kind of finding beauty in the simple yeah. everyday things? Yeah. Absolutely. And it's, it's, it's everywhere here. So we might, you know, plan to go somewhere that's only 500 meters away and it might take an hour because there's so many right. things to stop and look at and photograph. And yeah, that's what we do basically. We walk kilometers just, um, just to try to explore the city as a whole and, uh, and different districts and really get like an overall kind of feeling. Yeah, so I think this, there's, there's a lot of new ideas and it's a uh, yeah, super inspiring place to be and I think we're going to learn a lot so we feel very welcome to do this project. Um, and that's not always the case. Sometimes it's, there's a big barrier, but I feel like here yeah, everyone is super friendly and uh, that's, that's been helpful and will be helpful in the coming months. Well, if you ever need any help, feel free to message me or you know, ask yeah. anybody that you meet. Everyone's going to be happy to help you guys. So where can people find you guys? Do you have Instagram or what's the best way for people to reach you? Yeah, we, we have a project page. So our project's called News From Home and on Instagram it's news underscore from underscore home and we're trying to do daily updates and videos to share what we're experiencing if you guys have any questions for them please leave them in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe do all those nice things and we'll see you in the next video see you later bye bye